Sadhguru, uh, as you told about uh, the, uh, the thing that we have to enhance our capabilities, whenever I read about uh, literature uh, regarding uh, great men of India, I always find that uh, they have renounced all their uh, family and life in order to achieve this perfection. So as students, uh, what are we supposed to do with regard When you are a student, you must renounce everything else. <laughs> That's what you are supposed to do. Anyway, it's not renunciation, this is a complete misunderstanding. Right now, you know like uh, I go back somewhere where I meet uh, my university time friends and school time friends and uh, they're little thrown off balance with me. I am with them as I was even then, nothing has changed with me. But they are little, some of them are quite successful, very successful many of them, some of them are reasonably successful, whatever the failures, you don't get to meet them, we don't know where they've gone. So it's easier to trace the successful people in the world, you know. Other, others you lose contact. <laughs> so even these people who are well… well-to-do in their lives, they're little thrown off by my presence because they've heard so much about me these days. And uh, then they get nervous and they pull out their s cigarette and, uh, oh, can I s uh, smoke? I say, you smoke if you want, then they say, no, and they keep it. You don't smoke at all? I say, no, because you know these days we're trying to make even automobiles which don't smoke. <laughs> Why would I smoke? <laughs> I don't smoke, I'm eco-friendly machine. Uh, you don't drink also? Uh, no, because I'm always… look at my eyes and see I'm always stoned. <laughs> Where is the need to drink? So, no, I'm always blissed out, so I have no need to drink. Oh, you don't do anything? <laughs> their idea of life is… their idea of life after being successful, their idea of life has been condensed to this, that if they smoke ten cigarettes a day and they have a drink in the evening, they are successful. Otherwise, anyway, they cannot sleep, okay? <laughs> Otherwise they're anyway not able to sleep. So, such people will think I have renounced smoking and drinking and whatever. No, <laughs> this is not a renunciation. <laughs> this is just that if you choose something higher, say right now there is somebody on the street, your age boys are walking around loitering, they did not go to IIT, they did not go to any college. They look at you and think you have renounced. Because day and night you're looking at the book and studying, they're having fun on the street corner. In their eyes, in their perception, you have renounced everything. You have actually. They go to cinema every day, they tease all your girls who walk on the street, they smoke, they drink, they do whatever they want to do with their life at your age. But you are… you are a renounced character. You are here through the night sitting up, reading books, listening to these people. It's worse than renunciation <laughs> But in your mind you know you have not renounced, you have only chosen to do something which you feel is better than that, isn't it? The same thing, somebody chose to do something that they saw as better, as a higher possibility for them, somebody who is at a lower level of life thinks they have renounced. Nobody renounced anything.